and I have little Toppy now. He is handsome, he is sweet, he is kind. Hi there, Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for a very long time, and that's redo this room. If you're new to my channel and you like sewing, crafting, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? I also want to shout out my friend Heather who has this really cute little shop called Min Basil and she has the most adorable jewelry such as this necklace that I am wearing and I'm a Scorpio so I got the little Scorpio constellation on here. It's so adorable. I absolutely love it. I even love the chain that she put them on. Like they just look so classy. She has the cutest, adorable, but also like the funniest little inscriptions that she can put on jewelry. And she also does custom orders. I will be linking her Instagram and her Etsy page in the description below if you want to check her out. I have been wanting to redo this room for a while. This room, it's very small. It's my sewing room, my editing room, my filming room, my crafting room, like everything is in this room. I think it's time for a change. And when I mean change, I mean this wall. This white wall that I am not particularly fond of. Now let me say, I love a nice ivory, warm white. This ain't it. This is like a stark white. Also, I am very grateful it is not gray, okay? Sorry for everyone out there who likes gray. I've watched so many home reno shows lately and every single room is gray and every single house is gray and the kitchens, like everything is gray and I can't stand it. If you're familiar with my channel, then you know that I am a mid-century modern gal who likes color, who likes texture, who likes pattern, who likes everything that's not gray. So today I want to change this back white get rid of it. About a month ago, I did put a poll on Instagram asking you guys if I should do like a dark color or a light color and you guys said light. Well, I'm uh, I'm not gonna listen to you guys. I'm gonna go with the dark color. I don't even know why I put a poll out there. I was obviously gonna go with what I wanted to begin with, but I wanted to hear your opinions on what you guys think would look better. I'm sorry, I'll go my own way. So there was a few options that I could do. I could paint it, I could use wallpaper. That's about all the options. Let me just say, this is a rental house, so I don't, I don't wanna put the money into painting this and then having to buy more paint to paint it back. And if I don't get the right color that matches this, and then I realize I gotta paint this whole entire room white when I leave, uh, no. The other option was wallpaper. Wallpaper is mighty expensive. I didn't, I don't. Uh, and I don't want to pay for that. And then I don't want to put it up. And then yes, I understand you're probably saying, why not peel and stick wallpaper? Well, the peel and stick wallpaper that I personally want is too expensive. And I don't know how long I'm gonna live here. So I don't want to spend $100 on peel and stick wallpaper. And then next month it's like, move it. I mean, I could be here for a month. I could be here for two years. Who knows with this whole housing crisis that's going on that people are jacking up the prices and no one can live anywhere. I've decided to go with option three, which really isn't an option, but I'm gonna make it an option, and that's fabric. Probably a year, year and a half ago, I did watch this YouTube video where this girl put fabric as wallpaper in her closet. And like, first off, it was in her closet, so you know, you don't really see it a lot, but I decided, hey, let's, let's make this grander. I knew the whole wall. I ended up going to Fabricland last week, and to be honest, there just wasn't a fabric that I wanted. There just, it wasn't there, and I'm looking for a dark, floral, like wallpaper, vintage, think Victorian era, just like flowers and leaves and birds and just like the wallpaper of my dreams. And I thought maybe I could find some fabric that would mimic it, found some fabric, but everything was just way too light. It just wasn't it. I also looked for like bed sheets and curtains online and I actually found like the perfect material, but it's at Ikea and that's in Burlington. With everything going on, sure things are opened up again. I just don't feel like I want to go into an Ikea where everyone just lets their children roam around just for some fabric. I did find these really cute curtains and they were $50 for the pair. And I'm like, oh, like this is like so similar to the fabric that they sell there. I mean, obviously it's Ikea, you know, similar color shapes, you know, Ikea. I was really tempted to order them and then just go for in-store pick up so I wouldn't actually have to go into the store and I was literally one day away from doing that like one day and I was like okay if I go to Ikea I'll film the whole process but I uh, somehow ended up in a thrift store like how how did that happen I found the perfect 
curtains. So my plan is to take these curtains and make them some wallpaper. So it's not too, too dark, but it's also not very bright. This is the wallpaper of my dreams. It's also the curtain of my dreams and the fabric of my dreams. Everything about this, I absolutely love. And they were $4.00 each and I got two of them so like I've been kind of waiting to go into thrift stores because one like I, I don't want to spend all my money because the last time it happened I kind of just blacked out and I ended up with a bunch of stuff try to take my time really figure out what I need in a thrift store and then you know again I blacked out and I was in a thrift store so <laughs> luck would have it these were there and like for four dollars a pair it's like the thrifting gods are like please come back to us we'll give you all the things you've ever wanted in a thrift store and I was just like okay first off I'm getting rid of this shelf and put something else here but also it's always so like high up you never really see it i have like this bar cart that i thrifted and i kind of want to put that here so that i can like have a little some knickknacks back here and you guys can see them i don't know about you guys but when i watch someone's youtube video i like a lot of stuff in their background so that way like i don't have to focus on them talking i can like look around just look at the cool stuff that they own I'm a maximalist, okay? I'm not a minimalist in any capacity. Now you might be thinking, but Michelle, you have all this amazing art. You have like nails in the wall. Like how are you going to put it through this? Just take this off. They're tacks. Everything on this wall, except for this, is held up by a tack. Here's the material. I put a tack in it like that, right? That's what it's gonna look like. I take it out, where's the hole? It's not there anymore. So either when I am done with this room or I'm done with this, I can just take the tacks out and it won't leave any marks in here. I can use it as curtains in the future or I can use it as fabric in the future or wherever I go to, I can still use it as the backdrop. So the plan is I'm gonna put some hooks up at the top and then I'm gonna take this and after, you know, I take all these little pleats out, I at home at my parents' house, I have little like curtain clips that you would put like on a rod. And what I wanna do is I wanna put a clip on it and then like hang it from the hook. So here's the steps I'm going to do. Take the pleats off, take everything off the wall, add some hooks, add some clips to this, hang this up. And also I don't know how I'm gonna connect it in the middle yet. So we'll find out that eventually. Then hang everything back up and uh, do something with this bad boy. I'm going to take all these pleats out of both panels and we'll see how that goes. And I have little Toppy now. He is handsome, he is sweet, he is kind. And this is basically as wide as I can get to show you all the dead space up there that you never see. And then like all of this space that you never see. The next step is to take everything off the wall. And then I'm gonna take this guy down as well. And I'm not gonna be putting it back up. Here's a montage of me taking everything down. This is the wall now. I hate it. I hate how white it is. Like, I hate how there is no character to this wall. Like, it is driving me insane. I really, really, really don't like it. I don't know how anyone can just live with plain walls. You're crazy. This is sending me mental institution vibes from the 1950s. <laughs> And it's day two. I probably could have finished this yesterday, but one, I thought the, the sun was going down at like two o'clock and it was getting dark out. I'm like, okay, I'm done for today. And then the sun came back out. But at that time I was like, I'm done. Like, I don't want to do it anymore. I've already gotten comfy. But also I didn't have these guys here, which are the little clips that I'm going to clip the top two. I just show you real quick skis like this, and they're very, very sturdy. So I don't think that they're gonna fall down. It's it's kind of what I need to hang it up. And then I also needed, I also needed some hooks. I'm gonna take these hooks, I'm gonna put them all the way up there. Then I'm gonna hook these in, 
hang those up, see how the seams kind of line up and if like it doesn't look bad from like the camera's perspective, because it doesn't matter if it looks bad in person, I'm the only one in this room. As long as it looks good for you guys watching my videos, then I'm gonna leave it. But if not, gosh darn it, I'm gonna have to uh, a little bit of a major sewing project on my hands. And now on to the wall. From this angle, this room looks huge. It is not as the smallest room in my house, and like, I don't have big rooms in this house. I have the hooks, and the plan is to, I dropped one already, is to hang it up here somehow. Um, so like right here is kind of like the middle. That hook is in there, and it ain't budging. Oh my god, I'm so tall. All right, so the hooks are now up. If I don't like how it connects in the middle, again, like I said, I'm going to have to be doing a sewing project in this video, which I was not prepared for. I learned that I definitely need more hooks. I have one more of this. I didn't think I was gonna need this many. Apparently I do, but like I know I need another hook. Like over here to really flatten that out. And then another hook over there to flatten that out. I love this. I love this so much. It's so beautiful. So what I ended up doing was I ran out of the uh, the little clippy things, so I put a little hole in the top of that one, fed it through the hook. Tomorrow I will get a clippy thing. What I have to do now though is uh, like connect them so they're nice and like tight, like, like that, you know? So I think I'm gonna put a pin wherever there's something like very light, kind of noticeable, kind of not. I think it will be fine. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set it up like I'm actually filming something. This is what it's looking like. It looks like freaking wallpaper, I'll tell you that. This is the line. Sure, there's like something here, but if I put, say, uh, like this, and then I do something like, like that, you're not gonna see that line. So now it's time to hang all the art, put things back where they're supposed to go. So we'll move on to that. All three batteries that I had were all dead, and I thought I had one charged. I didn't, so they all died. So this is also day two. I, uh, I put a sweater on. Hopefully you're not confused of why I'm wearing a sweater now. Let's just go into like a little bit of a montage. I'm gonna pull up my pants and get this done. So I really don't like how everything is just so like square. All right, and this is how it turned out. I think this is really, really cute. Yeah, so if you look up top, I do have the clips and the hooks, and that's what it looks like up there. They're holding pretty well. This is like the full view of it. Like, look at all that like empty space up there that you just never see. It goes all the way to the floor, plus it has like a little bit extra. Like, this is honestly amazing. So this is a really great alternative if you are gonna be renting someplace or even if you have your own home and you, you're not too sure if you want wallpaper or not get some cute fabric you can change it every now and then and like the seam here you don't even see it because i mean like one like i'm sitting right in front of it so of course you're not going to see it but i mean like other than that it's not that noticeable it was eight dollars you cannot buy paint and you cannot buy wallpaper for eight dollars i don't know what else to say other than like i really really love this if you like my video give it a good old thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe you can also follow me on my instagram which is fancy times or tea party where i mainly just kind of post when i'm posting these videos so if you're not on YouTube a lot and you want to know when I'm posting, definitely check out my Instagram. I think that's it. So y'all have a good one. <sighs> oh, the, the fun of having a YouTube channel and I need an interesting background. Ghost, get out of that bag.